So in the previous video clip, we had a look at uh, options. Let's just refresh this. Uh, option Greeks uh, Delta 1. And uh, there we offered a demonstration of how two ways of calculating uh, Delta, Delta using a computational or a numerical technique and using analytic techniques for which we had the former so let's just download that file and take a look at what's there keeping in mind that the Greeks if we look at the Delta here on Wikipedia the definition that's offered here is the sensitivity of the option with respect to change in the underlying this can be used for computational or numerical estimation of greeks and then we go down to the formula and here we see we have for a call input we've a delta formula for each and this is an anal analytic uh, formula for estimating the greeks so opening up our spreadsheet okay enable editing enable content you can see we have call and I should make it clear this is a put so let's just delete this and insert shift cells down and this is a set of calls or this is a call and a put for different assets, same asset, uh, same asset, but we've a call and a put valuation for same parameter inputs and then the respective uh, Greeks, delta, gamma, vega, theta and rho. Um, in trying to understand what delta represents then, um, let's remove uh, the numerical delta a moment and just focus on the call uh, value and the delta value and if we map so let's just create a little bit of space here and let's create uh, two graphs okay so we'll do it this way highlight um, Okay, so we can do what we did before, just say equal to equal the cell here and drag it down. And then just pull it across. And then remove and take these away. And we can just call this a call and delta and if we graph both of these just uh, insert scatter and you see we have a delta and the call and it's just basically on the horizontal axis we have the stock price or the asset price and then we have both values for the call and the put. And what I'll do is I'll copy, copy this and paste, boom, paste. In fact, we might just make this a little bit smaller. And then we'll copy, copy, and then I'll paste, which should produce exactly the same graph beneath. And we'll try to keep them okay that they look pretty much the same and just put directly underneath and then in the first graph we'll remove the delta and nothing should happen except the delta disappears so that gets deleted out and in the second graph i remove the coal black shows parabola and the axis the vertical axis should rescale 
and we get a clearer definition of what the delta looks like. And when we compare the call to the delta, the call option to the delta across the same set of uh, underlying asset values, uh, it becomes immediately clear that if we go back into Wikipedia, this definition of the deltas, which would seem to hold. So, for instance, we could okay. Let's going back in. In other words, the the rate of change. I could put it here. The change DC divided by DS. Right. Uh, if we set, if we say the delta is equal to the slope of the call with respect to change in the underlying, where this is S and this is C, it's clear that if we consider the slope here, the slope here is zero, zero. When we get closer to the exercise price, the value of the the slope just tangent to the black shoal black shoals call parabola gets closer and closer to zero point five so once we go from ninety out here up to about a hundred and ten we cross the slope becomes closer to about zero point five so in the range close to the exercise the delta is about zero point five and then when we get to a deep in the money, as opposed to deep out of the money, when we get deep in the money, the option here, the delta here, its slope would correspond, although not exactly equal to 1, but the delta value would get closer and closer to this 1 value, just tiny, tiny incremental increases, but never quite making it to 1, but very close to 1. Now, there's a couple of ways of reading the delta. Um, one is that it's the slope. Okay, one is that it's the slope. That the, the, if we take the slope, uh, estimated in terms of the change in the value to call with respect to ch change in the value of the stock, in other words, the slope, the contours here are mapped into the contours of the delta. So we start with a slope of zero, and increasingly the slope, well, the slope increases at an increasing rate, and then increases at a decreasing rate, so that we get this type of measurement. Okay, so that that's a, a, one way of looking at the call here. The, the delta of the option is that it's just basically the slope of the Black-Scholes parabola expressed by this term here.